Hey everybody! So I was on Amazon. I got a gift certificate. Yay! Um, so I got a few things. One of which my lovely, lovely tripod that you can't see, but it's wonderful. I also got these generic curl forms. <laughs> Alright, you have to see this packaging. Okay, so it says High Speed Changing Magic Leverage, and it's spelled wrong, there's no E. Um, perm unimaginably. I haven't seen it on TV, but you know, whatever. On the back, all the stuff is spelled wrong. The sentences don't make any sense. It was like $10, I think. It says I get 16 I really got 17 So, you get what you get. I got the curl former rods that you just snap together and these are the curl formers. I shouldn't call them curl formers because I don't know what I don't know what they're called. Twisty whirls. Whatever. So I have discovered this thing and I don't know if it's good or if it's bad, but I think that I like you know you're natural when you find a bobby pin in your hair and you didn't know you didn't know. Um <laughs> that I'll wash my hair one day and then wear it like this some kind of something and then detangle it the next day I just don't usually feel like doing all of that and then if I detangle and twist it up it's going to take so long for it to dry out that it's just going to be like this anyway the next day so so I have not detangled my hair I'm just going to detangle it now. I washed my hair with the Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie Curl and Shine Shampoo, whatever. Um, and this is my leave-in conditioner, the Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie. I rinse out condition, whatever, with the Tresemme Moisture Moisture Rich. I use like 20-30 pumps of this. Seriously, I've had it for a really long time, and it was on clearance at Target, and I don't know what I'm going to do when I run out. Right. So, I am, my plan is to detangle my hair, put these twisty woos in there with this Motions, what is this called? Extra Firm Hold Foaming Lap Wrap Lotion. Right. With this setting lotion, basically, by lotion. It's probably got all kinds of stuff you're not supposed to put in your hair, but I'm doing it. Now, because I only have 16 and a half of these twisty woos, my plan is to only do the back and then maybe do some twists or something in the front. I was going to try my hand at braiding, but uh, I got a feeling I'm going to get tired before we get to that place. So. So we yeah, me to tangling. So I figured out some things. I am done with the back. And I have four left. So what I'm going to do is kind of make a bang in the front. And then pull all of this up into like a ponytail braid twist tuck roll something. And we'll see how that works in the morning. I've also started putting the setting lotion on before I detangle because it kind of has a little slip to it, turns out. I have also figured out that, um, It's easier for me to just show you. Alright, so I take like a section of hair, I twirl it, and I put the hook further down, and then just slide it to the top and then pull 
the hair through as I slap myself in the face with these things. Um, and I realize that's easier for me. I know other people do it differently, but I've, so far I've figured out that that's just easier for me. So I have to plan these special because I only have four left. So. And as you can almost see on this one, like my hair is right at the end. Some of these I have just a tiny bit sticking out. So hopefully my hair will grow and I won't be able to use them for too long. Okay, now that was kind of a fail. I want it closer to the root than that. Uh, we'll see what happens tomorrow. Also, one of them was like sealed shut at the end, and I had to like cut it open. Gotta love generic, I tell you. Now this one's going like this way, which I think is going to be okay, because I kind of like a swoop this way. Who knows what's going to happen? Um, so I'm just going to take this out, put it in like two or three big braids, just to stretch it out so that it can reach to make a ponytail tomorrow and it's not super tight. Um, I might just tuck my little edges behind my ears or something. We will see what happens. Cool. See you in the morning.
was, my memory card, sorry, my memory card was full and I didn't have time to redo all of that before I had to leave the house. So I wanted to show you my hair from all the different angles. And it did not come out the way that I thought it would, but I still like the way that it came out. I kind of like separated, fluffed, and padded, you know, pick, pat, pick, and pat um, until I got something that I felt, okay, going to work with. Um, I think that's the biggest thing for me about being natural. It's most of the time, at least for me, most of the time, my hair did not come out the way that I want it to come out or the way I planned for it to come out. But you have to make it work. Figure something out, throw a braid, pin it, tuck it, twist it. Some. Just do something and it's going to be okay. And you'd be surprised how many times you leave and, at least for me, like I'll leave the house and I'm like, uh, but people like, oh, I like your hair. I'm like, okay. Thank you. Um, but this is really a catastrophe that I had to save in like 30 seconds because it was time to go. It's time to leave. So, I noticed that in certain parts, because I twirled it before I put the little hook thing on it, um, when I took it out, it looks like this. This like twirl and then poof. But there were other places, it's all a mess now, where I didn't do that and it didn't, it doesn't have that twirl at the base of it. Because when I undo the twirl, it's just kind of, I, I don't even know. I don't even know. So, and it kind of worked out that I only had 17 of them or whatever. Is that lit? Okay, anyway, um, so yeah, I like it. I'm excited. I hope it helps. I hope you have a wonderful, magnificent, fantabulous day, and we'll talk later. Take care.